uh, Nowitzki and Pesquet, and there is uh, Peggy Whitson, uh, who will uh, say goodbye to her colleagues uh, who she launched with back in November. Whitson uh, just uh, handed over command of the International Space Station on uh, Friday morning to your chicken. We'll be taking a look at a replay of the change of command ceremony here shortly. Whitson now a flight engineer along with Jack Fisher. And Nowitzki gesturing uh, to bring uh, Peggy along. Peggy uh, declining, of course, as uh, she will remain on orbit for about uh, three more months as part of her extension, saying goodbye uh, to Nowitzki and Pesquet. So we gotta go, so they can start closing the hatch. And with a few final photos, because you just can't get enough photos, the uh, Soyuz hatch closed at 2.31 a.m. Central Time, 3.31 a.m. Eastern Time. Fyodor Yurchikin uh, securing it on his side of the docking interface. The uh, Rosviet hatch will uh, swing shut a short time from now. All I understand, Soyuz head is closed. Is that Do correct? I understand correctly that uh, you are already closed? And uh, the Rossviet hatch now closed at 2.32 a.m. Central Time. So the hatches are closed uh, between uh, the International Space Station and the Soyuz MSO-3 vehicle. Inside the vehicle, behind those hatches, Oleg Novitsky and Toma Pesquet, who will now uh, begin uh, a series of leak checks at that docking interface that will take uh, the better part of the next hour and a half. They will don their Sokol launch and entry suits. Oleg Novitsky uh, will be in the center seat of the descent module as the Soyuz commander under the call sign of Kazbek uh, between undocking and landing. To his left will be Tomah Pesquet as board engineer number one.